Hello people, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about the Ladybird web browser, which is a completely independent web browser, so it uses its own engine separate from Gecko, which is what Firefox uses, and Blink, which is what basically every Chromium blazed web browser uses. And you've got WebKit, but WebKit's just fine really and gnome web slash epiphany but yeah here we are now this has only, this is quite a recent thing it's quite a small project as i as in contributors but it's actually quite a complete browser so if i go to like my website this loads pretty much exactly how it should so just this bit and this is like the bit that literally um, web browsers really struggle with rendering correctly and then this bit pretty much same story works perfectly though this one's more optimized for actual rendering um, basically but yeah, it works, you know. Now, you might be thinking, oh, cool, so what? It, it works for basic stuff. Uh, yeah, but unfortunately, one of the things that doesn't work, surprising, I don't know, maybe not surprisingly, is my Acoma instance. If I do slash web at the end, which is using the, um, oh my god, what is it called? Mastodon front end, you will actually get something that isn't a white screen and it's almost usable. Wait for it, wait for it. And you load in, load in. But let's just say it actually does sort of work. The only thing that's broken is the text field. Yeah, not the greatest thing to be broken. But hey, it works. So, this web browser is actually really close to being usable now one thing that does work although it takes a while is discord yes the discord app bit in the web browser actually works um so if i do this slash app unfortunately it's um with the way i'm running it basically resets um every time i join so uh, open it so it's not i'll have to log in but you've got to take my word it actually works it's quite slow i, I i'm not sure if it i wouldn't be surprised if it's using software rendering i mean look at the um animation there that shouldn't be happening and the QR code doesn't seem to load. Maybe if you gave it a re, really, like several minutes, it works. But I've not had seen the QR code bit working, which is unfortunate because it make my life a lot easier because it's a bit fiddly typing in these text boxes. Um, yeah. So if I go to youtube.com slash, um. I think it's at well, I think that's how they do it. Oh, leap. Oh, wait, I've just been remembered. Yeah, so, 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 it will work. Now, yeah, as I said, it takes a while, but I'm pretty sure it uses software rendering, hence the performance. But it does work. And when you compare that to a web browser, that's also quite small, insignificant, such as um, 
next surf it's actually quite impressive because let me show you this also it does really want to use your ram like in these really heavy websites because if you look at my ram usage it is just ridiculous and then if I do this, this probably won't help, let's be real, but yeah, look at this rendering. It's, it's apparently completely rendered. Whereas with this, as you can see, it is actually rendering. If you give it time, it'll probably render correctly. Only thing that doesn't seem to be working is the search bar. More exactly, it's the actual button and like submit the results typing is fine so yes not the greatest but i think if you give ladybird web browser a year or two i think it could actually be a web browser you could actually use. Oh, that's what I think. You might not agree with it, but that's what I think. And I would be happy for that day because more options that isn't Chromium or Gecko, which is basically just Firefox, and then like Warfox, which is a slightly better version, but you know, not well packaged on. Linux, but you get the point. In a year or two, I think, I think with that, give it a year. As I said, you'll be able to use it. Like you won't have the issues showing this video because this is only. I believe this is only about four years old. This web browser, but it's like even I saw some post screenshots of it, like last year and it seemed to make quite a bit of progress but yeah as you can see NetSurf is unfortunately pretty much useless there and uh, unfortunately it's also not been updated in like actual package um in about three years what's with this um well number one i had to build it from source so it's pretty much as latest as it can be fresh off of with like today maybe right at the end of last night yeah it crashed but it does work it very well does work and it is quite an achievement and yeah also it seems to be using qt um as the UI, which is quite unusual, as that's all the other web browsers use GTK color scheme. Ah, here's where you set the dark mode. So, if I do cloudmode.cc and go to the new thing, boom, you've got dark mode. Another thing that you sort of just oh, it's nice. Look at this dark mode. Amazing, right? So, yeah, I should probably say this is part of the Serenity RS project. Um, I don't. I'm not necessarily a fan because they don't provide any binaries. If you want to use Serenity RS, build it yourself. If you want Ladybird, build it yourself. Which is not the greatest choice. Um, at all really just because it's targeted for developers doesn't mean um, you, you should spend time I mean it did take probably about maybe 15 minutes to build this this is like a Ryzen 7400U these numbers might be wrong but I would say it was about 15 minutes to build this maybe a bit longer maybe about like half an hour but for the yeah, Serenity, it took quite a bit longer, probably maybe an hour even, to build. But yeah. 
how can I have said all things that need to be said now. So that's going to be it for today and goodbye.